What would you do if you found out your child's teacher was having inappropriate inappropriate contact, inappropriate dealings with your child? Welcome back, welcome back. I'm your host, Runaway Child. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so now. And if you already subscribed to the channel, please tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you like this video. Liking this video don't cost you anything. So please go ahead, throw a like on this video, smash the like button now. Well, I have some news coming for you. Valley High School football coach caught doing the hanky panky with a 16 year old. This comes out of Dysart High School, allegedly. But we begin tonight with a developing story in the arrest of a Valley High School football coach. That coach, who's also a security guard, now accused of sexual conduct with a 16 year old student. Nathan Jellico worked for Dysart High School, his district vowing the 24 year old will not be returning to campus. ABC 15, Zach Crenshaw breaking this story for us. Zach, we just heard from police late tonight. Yeah, guys, you know, in this case, El Mirage PD shedding some light on how this man was caught. They say the abuse only began eight days ago, but in that time, there were five different sexual encounters, all of them happening on campus. As you might expect at a high school, word spread quickly among the students there. Investigators actually say some of the kids shared texts and information about that relationship with Dysart High staff. Those adults quickly calling El Mirage PD. And in a matter of hours, Nathan Jellico, the security guard at the school, was being taken off campus in handcuffs. Right now, that 24-year-old facing 10 counts of sexual conduct with a minor and two counts of luring a minor. Police now wondering if there are more victims. How would you feel if a male teacher was having with your 16-year-old daughter? This guy is 24 years old. Let's go to Another case, California, Ridley High School teacher, Crystal Jackson, age 39, Mountain View High School, was caught doing the hanky panky, allegedly, with a 14 year old. Check these crimes out now. A Reedley teacher arrested for sexual misconduct with a 14-year-old boy. Tonight, the sheriff's office is appealing for other potential victims to come forward. Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Berugia, and Alexon is off tonight. And new at 11, a Reedley teacher arrested for allegedly having sex with a 14-year-old student. Fresno County Sheriff's Office taking into custody 39-year-old Mountain View school teacher Crystal Jackson. Her bail set at $215,000. Madaris Babb joining us in the studio now with more details. Madaris. Stephanie Jackson is accused of having sex with her 14-year-old student several times over the last year. You know, Miss Jackson is in custody right now. We believe that our child is safe tonight, which we're thankful for. But we don't know if there's other victims. And that's a big reason why we're reaching out to the public. 39-year-old Crystal Jackson behind bars at the Fresno County Jail facing several child sex charges. Four counts of rape, uh, single counts of continuous sexual abuse of a child, oral copulation with a child, lewd acts with a child, communicating with a child with the intent to commit a felony, and meeting with a child for lewd purposes. Lieutenant Brandon Purcell says on Friday the sheriff's office got a tip that Jackson, who works for Mountain View Independent School in Reedley, was allegedly having sex with one of her students. Detectives say an investigation revealed that Jackson had sex with a 14-year-old student at least three times in the past year during their weekly one-on-one -on -one independent study sessions at Dunlap Leadership Academy. The worst part about this, I think, is that our victim was abused. That's number one. But also just the fact that our suspect is in a position of trust. Purcell says only Jackson and the student attended these one-on-one -on -one meetings. Kings Canyon Unified School District would not comment on the independent study protocols, but sent a statement saying, quote, the safety of students and staff members continues to be a top priority and the district will provide counseling and support services to any students or staff members in need. The district cannot comment on confidential personnel matters. They are now looking for more victims as well. 
Let's go back across the coast again. Martha Pope, high school secretary, 43 years of age, caught doing the hanky panky September the 10th, allegedly having not only intercourse, but oral <laughs> with a minor, 15 year old minor. Why haven't I heard anything about any of these teachers on the national news or the mainstream media? Why haven't I heard anything about it? When it was R. Kelly, it was plastered all over everyone's social media. It was plastered all over mainstream news, mainstream media. It was plastered everywhere. When it was Bill Cosby, same thing. When it was Weinstein, I didn't hear as much. Is there a difference in what I'm seeing? Is there a difference in what I'm hearing? Because in these cases, the authorities are looking for more victims. They're asking more victims to come forward, which tends to make me believe there are more victims. Am I wrong for feeling the way that I feel, or is there some type of divide? Is there something that I'm missing? Are these cases different, or are they presented to us differently? Now, Martha Pope, she set bail for $5,000. She was only arrested and released in less than one hour. Same as with your high school football coach. He was arrested and released in less than an hour, allegedly. All right. And then you have your Ridley High School teacher. She was arrested and released on a $215,000 bail. But yet, they haven't released R. Kelly. And they didn't want to release Bill Cosby. Harvey Weinstein was released. So, once again, am I missing something? You tell me what you think. Runaway child, and we are out!